The last of the nearly 1,000 climbers who went to Everest this year are trying to reach the summit, a lifetime dream for many of them. But 11 have died on the mountain this year. The climbers are a mix of experts, thrill-seekers, and novices, like Turkish-American Aidan Irmak. He wanted to bring his bicycle with him to Everest's 29,000-foot summit. Outside magazine writer Grayson Schaefer is at the climber's base camp. He received a lot of criticism in camp, you know, people giving him dirty looks and coming up to him and telling him that what he was doing was, you know, foolish, dangerous, reckless, putting other people in danger. Irmak made it to the top without the bike, but collapsed on the way down. He would have died had it not been for his friend, Nadav ben Yehuda. The Israeli was 300 meters from the top when he saw Irmak in the snow. Ben Yehuda abandoned his goal to reach the summit and carried his friend for hours down the icy slope. Ben Yehuda told Israeli television his friend was unconscious and without oxygen. Both suffered frostbite. Climbers on Everest often say, you're only halfway when you get to the top. Many deaths often occur on the descent. Alison Levine conquered Everest in 2010. People use everything they've got left, every ounce of energy in them, to get to the summit of that mountain, and then they have absolutely nothing left to get back down. That's what happened last weekend to Shirya Shah of Canada, who died of exhaustion on the descent. Her Sherpa guide recovered her camera with this snapshot of celebration at the top. The next frame in the camera was a picture he took of her body. Brian Rooney, CBS News, Los Angeles.